Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith, and this is something I call the Epic Voice Changer Effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, keeping with the style of over the top YouTube videos, here's what we're going to create. Hey guys, what's up? This is your software tip. Dun, dun, dun. That's right, you come here for the latest software tips to get your Adobe on. Yeah, yeah, that's why you're here. Hey, before we get started, you know what I'm gonna ask? I want you to subscribe. Make sure you hit, 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 hit it, hit it. Hit, 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 hit. That's right, and then you want to be notified when the junk dog has a new tip, right? So ring bell. bell. Come on, lots of different ways that you can get informed here on the software tip. Junk dog. Junk dog. Okay. <laughs> I had too much fun creating that. So I'm using all the built-in effects right inside Premiere Pro and I'm doing it with track effects instead of clip effects. This makes things so much easier because if, if you look in here, go to the window menu, audio track mixer, um, I've got my original voice, I've got an Evo voice, squeaky voice, big reverb, FM radio, old radio. And all of those different voices were just using those tracks. And the, the biggest benefit of doing it in track is you can change it at any time, up and down, left and right, change the overall effect. Let's go have a look. I'll, I'll Let's take this apart so you can see it. All right, so um, the original voice was here. So if I solo that, clicking on the S button there, or the S button there. What's up? This is your software tip. And all I did here, if I just delete this, and we put this back together. I'll just delete that. And I say junk dog there. So I'll cut that. Junk dog. And I'll cut that there. So now this is a separate piece. And I'm just going to hold the Alt key on Windows, the Option key on Mac. And I'll just hit the down arrow to put it down to A2, and A2 is the evil sound. Tip. So if we look at this track, twirl this down, you can see I've got three different effects here, a pitch shifter, dynamics, and analog delay. I'm gonna shut off the dynamics and shut off the delay, just so you can hear the pitch shifter. Tip. Whoop, let's solo that. And then I added the dynamics just to boost it up a bit. Dun, dun. And then I added the delay to give it this effect. Dun, dun. So those three effects, the changing of the pitch, adding more punch and dynamics, and then that echoey reverb all come together to create what, what I just called the evil voice. So anything that is now put on, uh, the audio track two, A2, will have that effect. By the way, I'm going to be nice. I'll put this whole uh, project on downloads on uh, videoreveal.com on the downloads page so you can load this up. Obviously, all my video and, and audio will be gone, but you can just drag your stuff into it. So let's double click on the, the pitch shifter. And by the way, to apply these, you just click on the tiny little triangle here and you can pick any of these effects. So the, the, uh, these, Pitch shifter is in time and pitch, pitch shifter. And to open up effect, double click on it. And you can see that the effect I'm using is the Dark Lord. I also have this set to high precision. If you've got it on any of these other settings and turn this off, you'll hear it, it sounds worse. So when you turn that up to high precision and use the default settings, it just sounds much better. Now, what this is doing is it's taking this based on semitones or parts of semitones, the sense, and it's lowering it. So the next one you'll see in a second is the same thing, but up higher. So that's the evil one. Now let's go over to this one. And I'll solo that. Adobe on. 
And that's um, A3. And it's the squeak. So you can see the pitch shifter is now plus, and I'm on high precision. And then I've got a convolution reverb, and that's just in the reverbs here. Reverb, convolution, reverb. And I've got this sound like it's a backstage area. Adobe on. And if you change these to something different. Adobe on. So you get the idea. Adobe on. One update that's happened since I don't know when recently is I've shown tips before on how to use reverb in Premiere Pro and the old way Premiere Pro at the end of the clip, the reverb would stop. That doesn't happen anymore. The reverb keeps on going. Yay. Okay. Let's keep going now. Uh, the next one is my big reverb. Before we get started. Okay, let's find out where the big reverb is. Right there. Hit it. I think that's it. Hit it. So all I have here is a tube modeler. And this gives a vocal booster. And the studio reverb set to a great hall. Hit it. So this is supposed to just sound more like my own voice a little bit punchier, but with more reverb on it. So that's the one called Big Reverb. And then this next one is something I called FM radio, because if you ask me, this sounds like an FM radio. Hit it. Hit it. It sounds almost like there's an FM radio playing in the room. So not just an effect in a computer. It sounds like you're in the room listening over to that FM radio. Hit it. And that one, believe it or not, is the Guitar Suite, which is in the special section, Guitar Suite. And the setting I have there is something called Mix and Mojo. <laughs> and I just found that that sounded Hit it. like that. Now, if we go a little further. Nope. I'll try to find the last one, which I got somewhere right there. Hey, before we get started. And that one, I'm calling it the uh, old radio, AM radio. And that is a parametric EQ, a tube modeler, and the studio reverb. So the parametric EQ actually has a preset called old time radio. And what you're looking at is, the, these are the low frequencies, these are the highs, these are the mids, and you can see it pulls a lot of the low frequencies down and pushes the middle up, and the high frequencies are down. And that's what a crappy radio would sound like. They don't have the frequency of a good speaker, they just push that middle band. So that's that, and then the tube modeler I have on the vocal booster, just like before, and then I've got the studio reverb on the great hall. Hey, before we get started, so let me just go between these two. I'm going to move this up to the FM radio. Hey, before we get started. And then I'll move it down to the old radio. Hey, before we get started. And I go back up. Hey, before we get started. Oh, oh, I just have too much fun. Okay, so let's, I've got a bunch of sound effects that are, that are going on here too. So if we solo that, Those are all from Artlist that now has sound effects that you can download. So there'll be a link in the description to go and check that out. And some Artlist music down here too. That's right, you come here. So we'll put all that together. Now, I wanna show you how easy it is from scratch to start doing this. So let me grab all of these clips Delete them out of here and just drag whoop, drag my 
audio clip. So this is now just me. Hey guys, what's up? This is your software tip junk dog. And I cut that as I did before. Hit the move tool, option all down. That's right, you come here for the latest software tips to get your Adobe on. So now I'll cut that. Adobe on. Move Alt Option down there. Adobe on. Yeah, yeah, that's why you're here. Hey, before we get started. Before we get started, let's try that. Before we get started. Now let's put that all the way down to the FM radio. I think I got it. Hey, before we get started. Yeah. You you know what I'm going to ask? I want you to subscribe. Make sure you hit the button. So I'm going to put that down to the evil one. Hit, the button. Button. Hit, it. hit it. Hit it. And then do it again. Hit it. Oh, maybe this one would sound better in the reverb. Hit it. Hit that button. That's right. And then ring the bell. So I'm zooming around on here, but the good thing is, is like, watch this. I can come back over here and I can move this down to there and it's a different one. To get your Adobe on. Yeah. And if I don't like that, I move it up. To get your Adobe on. And if I don't like that, Go back to the pitch shifter of the uh, squeaky one, and let's make it even higher. Your even higher. It's your and I want more reverb. Impulse, Paul, make it huge. <laughs> so. It's just a cool way to create a bunch of effects and then just have fun with it and start dragging stuff up and down. Then you could just delete everything out of here and save this as a, a project. There are no templates in Premiere Pro, but if you save this as a project, name it template, name it Epic Voice Changer template. And then when you open a new project, import this project and it imports all of those uh, presets or all of those settings. Because right now in, in Premiere Pro, there's no way to save those track settings. A bit, you just you just can't. You have to recreate them every time. The other update that's been added uh, that you might not know is you can now change the the order of these. So if you need to put something in the middle, like this this dynamics wasn't there before, the analog was in the middle, and you can also drag these over to other ones. So if you didn't know this, you might be going through a lot of problems to try to double click, write down some settings and do that. Now you can copy them just by dragging them around and drag them up and down. So there you go. There's some over the top, something that I'm not known for here, but there's some over the top stuff uh, that you might like to, to mess around with um, in what you're doing. And you know, you could do it in a much more subtle way, a voiceover is different than you're on camera. Now, when you when you move into your, your video and you've got a voiceover, you could just boost up the dynamics a little bit and add a touch of reverb. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. If you want to support us some more, you can do that through PayPal. There's a link in the description of this video on the front of the channel and also on VideoRevealed.com. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to show you all the crazy ways you can go over the top. You know.